Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to talk a little bit about the new app from NVIDIA. It's called NVIDIA Broadcast. And this app is currently only available for Windows 10. So when NVIDIA announced the 30 series GPUs, they also announced this app. And along with that, they announced some other things, but let's look at the app today. Um, so this is, this is a, a page for the broadcast app. And you can you can now download this app, and it says like it's it's really very powerful. So you have the noise removal, and they they also have a demo video that you can take a look at. And I took took a look at that, and I found it really very interesting. But I use Ubuntu to record my videos. I, I don't use Windows. And uh, today I thought, okay, let's let's go to Windows and let's try to um, use this app and see if it does what it says and um, nvidia is using artificial intelligence uh, in this application for doing a lot of uh, different things so let's see if it does what it says so in the background here you can see the app so you can you have three options one is microphone one is speakers one is camera and we will see all these op options today so what you can do is you can select your microphone source so I select the microphone that I'm using right now and you select what kind of effect you want on the microphones. Currently we have only one effect and that's noise removal. So let's switch this off and let's see what happens. So um, cur currently my uh, audio on, on, on this, in, in this video, the audio is routed via the application. So the via the NVIDIA broadcast application. So I have got a hair dryer here. So I'm going to turn this on at full power. And I hope you can hear me. So this is a hair dryer and it's very noisy. I hope, I still hope you can hear me, but let me turn on noise removal and then let's see if it changes something. So noise removal has to, has been turned on now. And as you can see, the quality has already improved. See the difference, it's huge. It makes, makes me really very happy. So let me turn noise removal back on again. Um, so yeah, this is, this is one of the cool features that you have. You don't have to do noise reduction on your uh, streaming application if, you, if you're streaming or if you're broadcasting. So all you have to do is uh, install this application and then when you when you are like in a in a meeting like a zoom or a google meet or whatever meet uh, wherever you are and you want to use this noise removal feature all you have to do is select nvidia audio instead of your default microphone and that's that's all you have to do so then the second feature that i want to show you today is speakers and uh, speakers is also very similar. So you have noise removal. So if you can do it for microphone, obviously you can do it for speaker too. The third and the coolest feature today uh, that I want to show you is the camera feature. So currently I'm using the camera here. So you see me here, but I'm going to switch off my uh, video and broadcast it on the NVIDIA broadcast app. And then let's see what happens. So the video feed that you see now um, is actually window capture of the NVIDIA broadcast app. And as you can see, I, ha I have some stuff in the background. I have some papers. I have my uh, hair dryer that I was experimenting with. So, and, but I have background blur on. So let's switch it off. So this is how my background looks like, as you can see, but with the blur, it just blurs the background and I can increase the strength of the blur uh, as I prefer. And as I said previously, you can use this video feed for your Google Meet or Hangouts or Zoom calls. So you just have to select NVIDIA video instead of your webcam. So this is one of the features and one of the very cool features. Another cool feature that you have is background replacement. So uh, now I can replace the background with some audio or video. So let's try to replace it with a video in which I'm talking in the background. So this is one of my YouTube videos. Um, and it's, it's quite 
quite awesome and I, I can see like it gets the edges uh, perfectly uh, maybe not not perfectly but it there, there is some there's a little bit of problem there but maybe it's because of my curly hairs uh, but other than that I see the the shoulders and stuff um, the edges are perfectly fine um, yeah, background removal is also one thing. So you can lay over uh, some something, uh, some other application, and I will show that to you. And that's going to be my last demo for today. Auto frame. This is amazing. So let me zoom in a bit. So now you can see my face, and if I move, it's going to frame my face automatically. So if I move my camera, let me move my camera a bit. It's going to position me automatically in the center. And this is this is a really cool feature. This is something I really like. So if I'm moving, the camera is also moving. <laughs> it, it's quite it's quite amazing. So it's following my face and you can adjust the zoom as you want. So yeah, now my face looks quite big. But yeah, you see like now you also see the effect um, more clearly. So this is this is one of the things. Other thing is the background removal, and that's uh, that's what I use all the time. And this is what I'm going to show you. But uh, for this, I will use something to make my uh, make the edges much uh, cleaner, so that you don't see like currently it's a little bit fuzzy on the edges. So let me try that. So what you see behind me now is a green screen and I use that in almost all of my videos. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to camera. Okay. And I'm going to um, remove the background and then let's see if it works. So now you can see it works quite good. It still has some issues with background removal because when, when I do that manually, I um, I get a much better background effect without these green edges. But it, it, it is also possible that it's because of uh, the lighting arrangement that I have and that's not very good. Um, and auto frame is obviously one of one of the best features that I, I like. But what I can do is I, I can use the auto frame feature and then I can add a chroma key effect on my own. And you can see like this, this, this looks quite good, right? Doesn't it? So I got, I, I got some reduction on the spill, but here I'm not using the NVIDIA broadcast app anymore. I'm, I'm just using it for, um, on the auto keying thing that's it i'm not using it for anything else sorry auto frame not auto key um so yeah that's nvidia broadcast app for you this video was not sponsored um just because it's only because i love this app a lot and i hope you will find it useful in your day-to-day -day meetings so let me know how you like it and uh, let me know in comments. And if you like the video, do like, subscribe and share with your friends and see you next time. Bye.